Hi guys, welcome back to my channel where I share with you everything that I'm a fan of. Today I want to do a little life update type of thing really briefly and share with you a TJ Maxx and a TJ Maxx home goods haul. So first of all, if you follow me on Instagram or any of my other social media or my YouTube videos, you know that we recently moved. May was super hectic. I was maid of honor in my sister-in-law's wedding. We, in the same weekend, we moved, in, like that same exact weekend. My husband was in the middle of opening a show, so he actually wasn't even around that much. So the packing and the moving process was very haphazard, very unorganized. It was kind of just like, go, 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 go. Luckily, my mom and my dad came to visit and helped us with the move. And thank goodness my mom was here because I think I would have gone crazy trying to help take care of the kids because my daughter was also in the wedding. She was the flower girl and it was just a lot going on and no surprise as soon as we moved into this house we all got sick including my mom but as you can tell we're in the new space we're far far from being settled in the girls love the new house and i'm so happy because that could have been harder my cat thomas you can't even see him over there but thomas was actually a very cranky cat at the old house and here he's like a brand new cat he loves it he's a lot happier and of course my husband and I love it or else we wouldn't have decided to move our family here. So from now on, I don't know if this will be the set that you'll see in my future videos or what, I'm gonna have to play around with the space, but it'll probably be around in this room. And I do want to do home tour and micro tour type of things, but it'll prob probably be way down the line. So let's actually get to the fun part and talk about the TJ Maxx and TJ Maxx home goods haul. Within a couple of days, my mom and I went to TJ Maxx and then a few days later we went to TJ Maxx Home Goods because it's bigger and so fun. I'm gonna start with the toys since this is still kind of a mommy channel. While my mom was here, Riley got, I mean, Riley and Jordan both got spoiled, don't get me wrong, but because Riley is a little bit more aware of what's going on, she was very lucky anytime my mom and I were actually able to leave the house, you know, when we were actually filling up to it since we weren't sick. Um, she got a toy. So when we were at TJ Maxx, she picked, she was able to pick out one toy and she picked out this one. It's a Play-Doh cupcake maker and she's had Play-Doh before. Santa brought it for her for Christmas and she kind of let it dry out. But I told her with this one, she has to make sure she cleans it up after every time she loves it and she's doing really well. The rule was she could only get one toy, but she loves these little, where does it say it? Uh, these little My Busy books. Where is it? She loves these little My Busy books. She already has a My Little Pony one and I got her a Frozen one um, not too long ago from Barnes and Noble and I've always found these on sale. The My Little Pony one my mom found at TJ Maxx and it was only like seven or eight dollars and these are normally like 15 I think. Does it say on here? This one was originally $16 and we got it for $7.99. So, and then the one at Barnes & Noble, those are usually on sale too. Um, I got the frozen one for $9.99. So great deals there, but she loves these and I'll do a close up of this, but this one was Frozen Fever and it was the only one there. And it was on the top shelf. And you're, if you're familiar with TJ Maxx, you know, if you see it and you want it, you better get it then because you're probably never gonna find it again. It's kind of like the dollar section at Target. So it's just, you know, a little book. I actually haven't read this one with her yet, but obviously I'm sure it goes through Frozen Fever. And then in the back, all of these have like a little play mat, um, which obviously she's been playing with. I will do a close up. But a play mat, and then a, um, they usually come with a set of 12 figurines that you can use to interact with the mat. I got it for her and hid it away because I told my mom I wasn't going to find this ever again, probably. And my mom gave it to her as like a going away present when she left because my mom was only visiting for a month. For Christmas, Riley got Jordan a cat's book that's very similar to this one. And I saw this book and Jordan loves like touch and feel like interactive books. So I couldn't put this one, uh, let this one get past me. It's all animals. She loves animals, different textures to feel. And it's a different type, but like little pop-up things. Um, which obviously I haven't read it to her yet because I forgot that I had it. But I'll do a close up too, but it has things where, you know, like the kangaroos jump and they have like a lot of pull tabs. And she really liked the cat one. So I thought this would be good to like kind of have a collection. My mom loves looking at the clothes for the kids at TJ Maxx. And she found this really cute 
4th of July outfit for Jordan and I'm really excited for the 4th of July so that she can wear this. Um, but it's got little stars and, or it's not stars and stripes, oh yeah, stripes on the buttons. Um, but little stars, shorts, and this cute top. It's a little spaghetti strap with a little girl holding her puppy. And it has this little bow in the back that matches the print on the shorts. But I just thought that was so cute, little fireworks and everything. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. My mom loves getting the, get the kids dresses like this. But it's just like a really cute, comfy summer dress. Um, kind of like a tie-dye chevron print. And it's super cute. So next, I'm going to show you the stationery stuff. I didn't find a lot, but what I did find, I absolutely love it and I can't wait to use it. This is a gift I actually got from my friend. So Christine, AKA at a rambling fancy, I'm sure you've heard me talk about her before. Um, if you're watching, turn this off because I'm sending this to you. But these are, it's just a box of thank you cards, but look how adorable it is. I mean, they don't even use these in libraries anymore, so maybe I'm dating myself here, but it looks like little library return cards. It says thank you at the top, it says from, and then notes. And then uh, it has a little envelope and it has a little pocket that you put it in to make it look like the library card insert in the library books. So I thought that was really cute and as soon as I saw this, I thought of her. But I've been on the hunt for file folders and I've looked at the dollar section at Target a lot, but none of them ever really caught my eye. And I can't remember why I need file folders, but I've been keeping my eye out for them for so long that I've forgotten why I need them. I just know that I need them and I wanted some cute ones. So these caught my eye. I'm not a fan of neon colors, but it's very minimal. Let's open them and look. So going through this, so they all say the same thing. So all the pink right side folders say today. And then all of the middle teal colors say never. And then the left side ones say someday, the orange ones. So. That's really cute. I can't wait to start getting organized with these. And the last stationary thing that I found is what I thought was a journal, and I love it because it's black with white polka dots, and then gold foil, it says, be true, be happy, be you. On the inside, I thought it was a journal, but it's not. It's a little notepad, so it has plans. It has Monday through Sunday, shopping list, to do, and then a spot for notes, and then little white and gray page flags that are just really cute and I absolutely love this because I can take this and probably like rip off a page and put it in my planner for like a really quick planning or for weeks that like I don't get a chance to sit down with my planner but I can still like jot things down really quick for five minutes. Final kind of category if you will I'm going to do um it's kind of like home decor organizational type of stuff. I need these because I'm short. But this one's collapsible and I really like it. I wanted one black or white. They didn't have one at the time. Like at least it'll stand out when it's collapsed. We can find it really easily. My other step stool just wasn't collapsible. So I keep tripping on it in the kitchen because my kitchen is a lot smaller than my old one. Kind of boring, kind of not, but I needed a way to organize my purses. And um, I like this one because it's clear because I feel like if something with color, which is kind of why I wanted a white step stool instead of red, because I feel like color kind of like catches your eye and adds to the clutter feel. So I really wanted something in clear and white. So I like that this was clear. I like that they're like big thick hooks and you can hang it over the door. So I'm gonna put this in our new walk-in closet because right now all my purses are taking up a shelf and I feel like that shelf could be used to store things so much better because I try to keep my purse collection very, very, uh, to a minimum so they all should fit on here. This I thought was beautiful I don't even know what I'm going to use it for but it was just one of those things and I, I want to use it for the girls room because for my girls room I kind of want to go in like a shabby chic direction um, So this is a jewelry organizer actually, but I mean we can hang their purses their outfits or Whatever on this and it was really cute and this was actually on clearance. It was six dollars so I just couldn't pass that up. I love anything organizational and I feel like it'll add to the beauty and decor of their room. I have like a photo frame for every month of the first year of Riley's life and it's all filled in and everything. Um, so you put, you know, their birth date and then one month, two months, three months, so on until one year. Um, so I have a little one for Riley. It was a gift that I got at Riley's the, at my baby shower for Riley. Um, so I filled that one up, but I never got one for Jordan. I always kept my eye out. So when I saw this one, this one's $13. It's a lot bigger than Riley's, but again, it kind of has that shabby chic look and I just didn't want to pass it up. Um, 
and I just can't wait to like put Jordan's baby pictures in it because I haven't gone through and looked at we don't have any like progress progression photos okay, like, the last thing was I think my mom and I spent like 15 minutes looking through all of these things and it's just silly how long how how seriously I took finding these things but we have a cupboard under the stairs and I'm super stoked about it. And one of my friends was like, you should put the girls toys in it and make it their toy closet. So I think that's what we're going to do. So I was trying to find bins to kind of like put, I want my husband to put shelves in and I wanted bins to kind of like go in, but nothing like too crazy. I don't like the gaudy like um, nursery and toy ones with like a lot of stuff all over it because I want something that we can actually keep for a long time and that they'll grow into and as their interests change, you know, because Riley's not always going to be into My Little Pony. So once she actually gets into like, I don't know, music or guitar or skateboarding, I don't know, whatever she's going to do, you know, I don't want to like it to date it itself and then we have to get rid of it or she'll want to get rid of it. And then we're stuck with this gaudy looking kids bin. So that's why I was hunting so much for these. But this one I thought was pretty, it's gray and white. And even if we don't end up using it for the kids toys, I can use it somewhere else in the house. And this one I like because it has a light pink and gray damask print on the inside, but on the outside it's kind of like a basket weave and it just says things on it, on the front and the pink. I know one day they might grow out of the pink, but you know, I could only deal with what I had or to choose from. So, and still, even though it's a pop of pink, it's still a pretty neutral color. Plus it's going into the cupboard under the stairs. Not a lot of people are gonna see it anyway. And then this one, it does say toys on it, but again, it's not gaudy. You know, we could always just turn it around to the back side if they don't want, but who knows? They might have toys for the rest of life. I still have toys, I'm 31. Um, I wasn't crazy about the ruffle, but I mean, it's kind of cute. And again, it's a neutral colors, so I really like it. I'm excited to see how I'm going to get these to fit in the closet. That's it for my TJ Maxx and TJ Maxx Home Goods haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up. That would make me happy. And please subscribe if you like my videos so you know when I upload the next one. That's it for the day. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thomas. I probably rambled on a lot. I have got to learn how to stop talking so much in these videos. I think it's because I don't get to talk to adults. So in my mind, this camera is a bunch of adults that I don't get to see in my day-to-day -day life. Um, so, sorry about rambling on if I did.